Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbly. Welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna show you how to grind the 80 plus player picks in FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack like button, subscribe if you're new, let's get it. So the quality is minimum of gold and you only need 40 chem with nine players. So as long as you're using some correct positions or players from the same league, you should be good to go. Now, one of the ways people typically tend to build these, especially if you don't have a lot of things in your club, is people go all the way to the gold market and they start trying to buy these cards. Now, typically these common golds are 400 coins by now. A lot of them don't even go for that. Sometimes you can get them on bid for 350, but these are shooting up in price now that they are valuable essentially. People need them to do the SBC. So instead of buying these where you're gonna be spending a lot of coins trying to get these, I'm gonna show you some workarounds. So the first one is gonna be BPM method. If you have nothing in your club and you're wanting to build up, Essentially, what you're going to do is open bronze packs. Now, when you open bronze packs, there's a couple different ways you can take this. Some people sell everything that has value from league SBCs, contracts, whatever. Some people keep some leagues to do league SBCs. If I were you guys, what I would do is just sell the league SBC players and the rares if they're up in coins. So we get 200 coins there. This rare right here, how much is he worth? Probably about 500 coins. So it looks like we're going to be basically breaking even on this pack potentially making a little bit of coins after we quick sell. Does this Sudamericana card have some value? We'll try to list it for 200. And then you get this player that you can throw on your club from the Romanian league. Now, once you do this enough, you're gonna get a lot of bronze commons in your club that can build up over time. And essentially what you're gonna do then is if you go over to the squad building section, you go to the foundations. It's weird it's in here. I don't know why it's in foundations. I think it was from the showdown. They got moved here. Um, you want to go to bronze upgrade and here you're going to be putting your crappy bronzes from off leagues into here to make a silver player pack. It's going to be including two silver players, one rare and one common. So let's go down to the Romanian league. I believe we have quite a few in here. Where is the Romanian league? There it is. So I'm going to check all the ones I have. Obviously, if you only open one bronze pack, you're not going to have enough to do this. But the more you do over time, the more players you're going to have. Now, I don't personally prefer this way. I'm going to show you the next step that I prefer a lot more. But essentially, you're going to build up these packs. You submit it. You get yourself a one rare and one um, common. Now, with that, if you wanted to put that into League SBCs, you could. If you get enough silvers, you could put those into then the next thing, which is the silver upgrade. This is going to give you three common gold players, which is what you're looking for for the 80 plus player picks. So what I would recommend you guys do is I would go to silver. I'd go to untradeable and go either low to high or honestly, if you want to go high to low, doesn't really matter. Some people here prefer to not use league SBC cards. So if you notice you have off leagues, feel free to put those in. I personally, whenever we have a player pick, I will throw in league SBC cards because I tend to only do one league at the time. But for the sake of this, we're going to chuck away all the league SBC cards and throw in all off leagues. So these would be things untradeable that really don't have any additional value. We put in here gives you three common golds. Now, the cool thing with this is you can potentially pack informs if the inform is a base common gold typically. Um, you can save coins each time you buy a common gold off the market. Like we saw right now, they're all going for 500 plus coins. This is a minimum of 1500 coins you're saving just here alone. And the more of these you do, obviously the more player picks you can make and the more coins you're gonna save over time. Now, what is a quicker way to get those golds in my opinion, or a better way to get those golds and also be making coins potentially at the same time? It's gonna be the Libertadores League SBC method. Now, I'm gonna show you why this is good, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it in a little bit of a different way, because it is a long process. So here, you get a rare mixed players pack at the end, which is gonna give you some rare golds, which is nice. But here's where you're gonna see a lot of fodder. You get a gold players pack here, which we'll complete in a second. You get electron players pack here, so the gold players pack will give you 12 gold players, one of them being rare, 11 commons. This is going to be able to craft you at least 180 plus every single time through. Election players pack is going to give you another six golds. Here is a jumbo silvers pack, which you can sell the tradable stuff in here, make quite a bit of coins back. And then the best pack in the game, in my opinion, in terms of making coins is the jumbo gold pack. This thing is full of, posi this is full of position changes, full of players that you can sell and remember a lot of them are up in price right now and i'll show you that in a second uh, but here's an example of a team that i filled together if you want to know how to exactly 
get league SBC cards from the lib. I'm going to link a video in the description down below. And it's also going to be linked at the end of this video as well in the form of a playlist for our other league SBCs. But as you see there, we open one pack, we get ourselves a walkout. And this is a one rare. Not every pack is going to be like this. Don't expect it to be that way. But as you see, we get a bunch of stuff we can put in our club and we have some fodder we can use for other stuff as well. But I'm going to see if we have any tradable cards. Okay, one of them's tradable. We can sell this guy on. Looks like he's going for maybe 700 right now. We'll chuck him up. But this guy then we're going to take untradable. He's from the French League. I'm just going to go put him into an 80 plus right now. And you're essentially going to repeat this process over and over again with all the untradables you get. Whether you wait till you get a duplicate or you do it right away, shouldn't really matter too much. You just throw them in. So we're going to go to League One. I'm going to check all my League One cards. I believe he was the 76 rated rated if I'm correct. We'll chuck these guys in too and get ourselves a player pick to see if we can pack anything crazy. So that gives us 47 cap. So as long as you use players from the same league, try to get some positions down, you should be good to go. And just like that, we didn't have to buy a single gold card. We just used league SBCs to help us out. Now that was the best pack in the world, but hopefully doing these over and over, you can keep recycling them. Um, and if you get a low rated 80, 81 82 that sort of thing feel free to put that back into the player pick so you need one last card and again i would just keep running through the libertadores over and over if you want to know how to grind the libertadores specifically we have a video i'll link it in the description again and you can see it down below me right now click on it. it's like a 37 minute video it'll walk you through exactly how to do it but yeah i'll catch you guys next time it's been your boy mumbly i'm out god bless